Good morning everyone. Thank you for joining us. Today we're going to have um, a bit of a basic program, getting back to basics. Um, hopefully it'll be deep though. <laughs> um, so we'll have a guided meditation for the heart and um, then we have a talk which is titled Connection Between the Heart Chakra and the Sarasrara. So before we get started, let's um, collectively namaskar and put ourselves into bandhan.
I'm going to start with a few breathing cycles. So breathing in nice and slowly. Holding the breath. And releasing the breath, breath very slowly. Hold the breath again. Breathing in. Hold the breath. Exhale. Hold the breath again. Breathing in. Hold the breath and then release the breath to breathe normal. We'll just clear the left channel. And we'll say the mantra to Sri Mahakali Bharava Saksha. Om Tvameva Saksha Sri Mahakali Bharava Saksha Sri Adi Shakti Mataji Sri Nirmala Devi Namo Namaha Mother, please clear all the negativity from the left side. the right side and we'll say the mantra to Sri Maha Saraswati Hanumana Saksha Om Tvameva Saksha Sri Maha Saraswati Hanumana Saksha Shri Adi Shakti Mataji Shri Nimala Devi Namo Namaha Please clear all the negativity from the right channel.
both hands on lap. And take the right hand and put it on left heart. Mother, by your grace, I am the Spirit. Mother, I am the pure Spirit. Hand on the right heart. Mother, you are all responsibility within me. Mother, you are the boundaries of good conduct and the benevolence of a good father within me. Place the right hand on centre heart. Mother Kundalini, by your grace, please make me a confident and fearless person. Just do a few deep breaths here without holding the breath. Just as deep as you can go and then releasing it nice, nice and slowly at your own pace. Mother Kundalini, by your grace, please make me a confident and fearless person. With both hands on lap now, we'll just sit for a few moments before listening to this morning's talk.
Sarasrara is placed in the limbic area of the brain and is formed from a thousand petals. When the Kundalini rises up through the central path, after piercing through the various chakras, it penetrates the limbic area. The limbic area is connected to the whole of the brain and also with the nerves. When the Kundalini starts to flow through the nerves, they become gradually enlightened. The vibrations start to spread in all directions. The Sarasrara opens and the Kundalini flows out from our fontanel bone area that we call Brahmarandra. Randra means the whole and the Brahma is the all-pervading power of God's love. So it enters into the subtle energy which is all-pervading, which we do not feel normally. But then the Chaitanya, the vibrations which are the part and parcel of this energy, all-pervading power, the Parama Chaitanya, they start entering into our brain. But Sahasrara is to be kept open, is rather difficult for people. Because it's a vicious circle. First these vibrations should enter into your brain through the Brahma Randra, when it is opened out, and they should nourish your nerves by which your left and right side open out. And so more Chaitanya can flow down all these centers. But if you are Sahasrara is not properly opened. This process doesn't take place. As a result of that, the chakras don't open. The Kundalini, only as very few strands, is kept in the spinal cord and the new strands cannot rise because your chakras are not open. So in Sahaja Yoga it is very important to keep your Sahasrara open. There is a particular connection between the heart chakra and the Sahasrara. Already the heart is surrounded by seven auras of the seven chakras. And the spirit, the Atma resides in the heart. As it is on top of your head here, resides the God Almighty Sadashiva. So when Kundalini touches that point, your spirit gets awakened and the light of the spirit starts spreading. And it starts acting on your central nervous system because automatically the vibrations, the Chaitanya flow into your brain who enlighten your nerves. But still the recognition on the heart is not there. Even without that you start feeling the cool breeze, you can raise the Kundalini of others, you can cure people, you can do many things. But still, it is not yet felt in the heart so much. 
that's why we have music art all these things start opening your heart but to go deep down into your heart what should we do people tell whether how should we get into our heart how this mental activity can be performed through the heart now you must remember that heart is absolutely connected with brain absolutely connected it's not disconnected thing it which was it would not have worked when heart fails after some time brain also fails the whole body goes out of order so this mental activity of the heart is to be understood this way that as soon as you see the danger without even thinking in a reflex way your heart starts pumping more blood and you get palpitation you don't have to think there's no mental activity just to see supposing a tiger standing before you immediately the heart will start pumping it's a reflex action now how this activity takes place one may say is that because it is built in within you that as soon as you see some emergency your sympathetic nervous system goes into activity and you start feeling the fear you start feeling uh that there should be some protection that you should do something about it but you do not think you just run you run as fast as possible you don't think about it what i should do where i should run just to go on running away from the danger and how do you do that because it is built in within you all this in your brain that as soon as the heart starts pumping too much blood it should just make the legs work and the hands work and you should run or we can say it is in the central nervous system built in the fear any reaction any response like that is built within you but the response to the spirituality is not yet manifested it is manifested it is all built no doubt but it is not yet manifested and how will it manifest that's what people ask me mother how will it manifest through your past you have learned that you have to be afraid of this you have to be afraid of that also in this lifetime you have learned many things for a child may put his hand to the candle won't feel be frightened but a grown up it because an experience with the experience gradually you built in that reaction of reflex within you so that you try to save yourself now what experience you should have to build that in your heart is the point and the experience is of your own divinity of your own spirituality once you start developing that experience then you know that you are divine person 
unless and until you are aware fully that you are a divine person howsoever faith you may have in me the recognition is not complete so first you have to recognize yourself to be a divine person to have faith in yourself we do not have faith in ourselves though we are such yogis but if you become introspective and meditative then you touch that divinity within you when you touch that divinity you know you are a divine person if supposing the sea is responding to moon that means it has that mobility in it to respond a stone a stone will not react to the moon in the same way in your heart these waves of these feelings are created by the experience of spirituality by the experience of your own being and then you start expressing them and is something to be achieved because you know that the center of heart is placed here the pitha the seat of the heart is on brahmarat if your heart is not open in the heart if you do not have those responses built they need not be of awe or fear but a natural protocol that develops then you can never do wrong because you know whatever is good in your heart when you are introspecting then the step moves further but more through meditation that's why i always tell you that please get up in the morning do your meditation and get up in the evening and do your meditation at least before going to bed you should get to it that's the only way you can go deeper into your divinity which is the source of all creativity source of all the innocence is the source of all the knowledge and the source of all the joy so strada was opened out because of that you got this mass realization that's true but now the quality has to go quantity is quite great the quality has to grow of the sastrara and the sastrara is the only instrument which is going to work out sahaja yoga in the modern times if we realize that heart plays the most important role in sastra just here is the heart said how important it is that you have to recognize through your heart otherwise this center won't open and how do you get your realization what a beautiful connection made that this center here is the seat of the heart is the pitha of the heart and this has to open out then only kundalini comes so all this machinery is connected and made in such a manner that you have to understand the importance of heart connected to this brain which is absolutely integrated with heart with introspection also you can ask why can't i recognize that way why can't i do that way what is my interest now if you come to sahaja yoga for making uh, some sort of a power game you want to have a power you are finished you want to have money or some sort of a business you are finished anything else you try like making something for your children or for your marriage or family or any such outward things if you come to sahaja yoga this won't work but just to expand your heart to spread your love to everyone to feel their love within your heart and then 
to put yourself into a position when it responds, the heart responds to divinity within you and to your mother with full mental activity of the heart. Today's subject may sound rather difficult for you to understand, but I had to say this one day because we are quite satisfied with a little of the Kundalini coming out of our head. There's so much to come out, so much divinity is there which has to come out. And if you have to ascend and if you are the foundation of that new age which is going to transform the whole world, we'll have to work hard. May God bless you. to a silent meditation.
Thank you, Shamataji. Thank you for everything you have done for us. And thank you for everything you still do. Again and again, thank you, Shamataji. I'll say the last verse of the three great mantras. Om Tome Sakshat Shri Kalki Sakshat Shri Sahasrara Swamini Moksha Pradayini Mataji Shri Nirmala Devi Namo Namaha Thank you so much for being part of our collective meditation this morning. It's always a great way to start the day. When you're ready to finish your meditation, please remember to bow down in front of Shamataji, raise your kundalini and put yourself into bandhan. Wishing you all a wonderful day. Jai Shamataji.
Just a matter, Jake.